A lot of us talk about the homeless epidemic, but few of us do anything about it. Well, Kim is about to introduce us to a very special family who's taking giant steps with a mission of tiny shelters. Right now, I am at Tiny Home Village, which is all about ending homelessness here in Los Angeles. I'm so excited and honored to introduce you to CEO and founder of Hope of the Valley Rescue Mission. Oh my gosh, tell me about this incredible location and then all the other locations that are popping up. Yeah, this is amazing. This is the very first tiny home community in the city of Los Angeles. 39 units, 75 beds, they're 64 square feet. They come with heat, air conditioning, four windows, a front door that locks, and this really is part of the solution to ending homelessness in Los Angeles because we are taking people out of encampments and moving them straight into these houses. And not only that, but you're also supplying their furry friends with even a dog run over here. That's right. We care for people on both ends of the leash. Those oh, that I have, love that. and we have seven dogs that live here right now with their owners. Wow. And everybody that comes here, they have access to three meals a day, laundry facilities, wow. um, case management, housing navigation, mental health services, substance abuse counseling. It is a one stop shop to end homelessness. And it's not just this location, which is actually for single homelessness uh, individuals, but the next location that you're building is, is more than double the size and for families. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a great public-private partnership with the city of Los Angeles. The next site will be up at Alexandria Park, which is two miles from here, which will be 103 units, 200 wow. beds. Amazing. Then there will be another one opening in Reseda and another one in Tarzana. Okay, and then on top of that, you guys team up not only with the city of Los Angeles, but so many other individual charities that are really helping to support your mission, right? And one of those people, two of those people, happens to be husband and wife of Pop Drop. I'm going to check in with them. Uh, you guys launched this on your first date. This is Nikki and John Snyder, and now 10 years later, you're not only supporting this mission, but you're on a lot bigger mission. How did this all start? Well, you're right about that, Kim. This definitely started on our first date, which is an untraditional way to spend your first date. Yeah. But, you know, we weren't trying to impress each other. Well, a little bit. But we were trying to figure out how we can help make an impact in the world, and we both shared that value. And honestly, we've been giving back together ever since, and Project Pop Drop helps serve the homeless community in greater Los Angeles and all over the world nationally. Unbelievable. For the last 10 years, 365 days a year, and you've even been honored by the White House. Tell me about that, John. Yeah, we got a call from the White House. I'm like, I, I thought it was like a telemarketer. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it's, and like, this can't be real. I thought it was a joke, and they're like, oh, you won the President's Volunteer Service wow. Award. You were nominated. I was like, what? For Project Who Pop nominated Drop? us? Wow. So, yeah, so now I walk around sometimes with a gold medal around my neck. Hey, listen, <laughs> what else are you yeah. supposed to do? Every I, day. I, I should have asked you to wear that today. Yeah, it's okay. in the car. Okay. Oh, perfect. We're going to have to uh, <laughs> add that in. Okay, so you guys, tell me about how you have been able to really take this from just a percentage of your small business giving back to then partnering up with big brands and figuring out unique ways to be able to support Los Angeles every single month. So yes, we've found a way to be giving while making a living 365 days a year and it's super cool and it's super rewarding and we call ourselves the Givefluencers and we bring on other Givefluencers to give back with us. And just last month, we were at a great organization called Valley Community Fridges, and they do amazing work where they fill refrigerators in low-income areas and serve people and families experiencing homelessness, wow. and we love showing up for them. Okay, well, you guys have really showed up for Tiny Home Village as well. You were able to support their last project, and now you are supporting their new family project. Tell me about how you are giving the kids a game room. Yes, we teamed up with our amazing partners at Arcade One Up, wow. and we are. This is just the beginning where we're going to be doing surprise takeovers, where we revamp the playrooms and community rooms and centers, and we are going to be bringing old school fun arcade games. And yes. we brought a little sample, Kim, so I you know. can see Look a visual. At these. How cool is that? Yes. And you're giving these kids like a sense of normalcy and yes. fun, right, in their everyday so life now. Yeah. Yes. They it's have so to important. build memories. You know, we're trying to help build memories and good times so they can feel a sense of 
camaraderie and they can feel a sense that somebody cares about them. Okay, well, you guys are really caring in a big way. It's not just the game room. They are giving back to the new tiny home village. And they have four kids under the age of seven, by the way, who are here <laughs> with us today. I don't know yes. how, how you guys find the time to give back. And you're donating this check right here to be able to support the mission. Yay. Tell me about that. Well, they actually help us. They, when they yes. see us shirts, they say, they go tell everybody, we help people. Project Pop Shop, we I help people. It. We bring burritos, we bring sleeping bags, and they promote for us. Wow. We've actually gotten donations because of Chloe and the triplets. So this check right here is going to end homelessness for two families yes. at the new location. Yes. Yep. They're going to have a roof over their head, and we're real grateful for that because we never thought in 10 years ago that we were going to do this. You know? Well, I'm sure you also never thought that you'd have four kids. Those are triplets, by the way, under <laughs> yes, the age are. of seven. Congratulations on Thank parenting, you. obviously, <laughs> and, and uh, building your own Gifluencers. Thank you so much, guys. Unbelievable. Thank you. Thank you. Good job, guys. Yay, Congratulations. Good job.